Ladies, if you have uterine fibroid tumors, you know just how painful and frustrating they can be. They affect 20 to 50 percent of women, and it used to be that your options were drugs, get a hysterectomy, or just live with the fibroids. Not anymore. More women are opting for uterine artery embolization. And tonight we get an inside look from doctors on how this works. Many, many years I have been struggling with it, and I just thought it was my lot in life. Uterine fibroid tumors were a miserable part of life for Linda Wilson. They're non-cancerous growths that three out of four women will have at some point. They can be painful, cause pelvic and back pain and heavy bleeding. It runs in my family, and I've already had two relatives that had hysterectomies, and they were off work for weeks and weeks, and I was like, I can't do that. So Dr. Mark Dean at Riverside Methodist Hospital took a look at her fibroids, and you can see them here. They're the large, dark circles. There are two large ones, and then there are several smaller ones. Together, the size of a volleyball inside Linda's uterus. Linda was not a good candidate for a hysterectomy and opted for uterine artery embolization, which slows the blood flow to the fibroids. So if we can slow down the nutrients provided to the fibroids, they will shrink in size. Basically, we're going to starve them of their nutrition. This dark shaded area is the artery feeding the fibroid, and that's what Dr. Dean blocked off. Even better, this is minimally invasive, no cutting. Linda left the hospital the next day with a Band-Aid. Over 90% of women who have this done see great results. They don't expect the remarkable results in such short a period of time. And for being Band-Aid surgery, uh, the results are overwhelming for some patients. 